Zebras look like wild horses, but evolution and genetics have pushed them far from domestication. Although zebras, horses, and donkeys are all equids and can produce hybrids like zorses and zedonks, only horses became truly domesticated. After horses split from a common ancestor with zebras around 4 to 4.7 million years ago, humans gradually selected calmer, more cooperative animals. Recent genetic work suggests key mutations helped. One in ZFPM, one about 5,000 years ago, may have reduced anxiety, and a later GSDMC variant reshaped vertebrae and boosted coordination and limb strength, making horses reliably rideable. Those rare mutations never appeared, or were never favored, in zebras. On African savannas, zebras evolved under intense predation from lions, hyenas, and cheetahs. Natural selection favored hyper-reactive, aggressive animals that kick hard enough to kill a lion, bite viciously, and instinctively duck ropes or lassos. They also lack the stable herd hierarchy that makes horse societies, and thus training, more manageable. Colonial era experiments by figures like Governor George Gray, Lord Walter Rothschild, German officers, and modern trainers have produced a few rideable individuals, but only with extreme effort and inconsistent results. In practice, zebras remain stubborn, dangerous, and unpredictable. Wild animals that, despite their horse-like looks, refuse to live on human terms.